What do you call the dot over the letters I and J? It's called a tittle, and it comes from the Latin word titus, originally meaning title. Because parchment was so expensive, medieval writers were often trying to save space, and so they would cramp their letters together, and they would leave out letters, and when they would do that, they would indicate that a letter had been omitted by putting a little mark over the next letter, and that mark was called a titulus. That word titulus is where we get the word title, but it's also where we get the word tilde, which was originally a little letter N written on top of another N to indicate that there used to be two Ns side by side. But because the writing was so cramped, it was really hard for writers to tell certain letters apart, so they started adding a dot over the I and the J to distinguish them from other letters. You can see how hard it is to distinguish letters in a word, especially when there are lots of N's and M's in there among L's and I's. So the tittle helped distinguish these letters, and over time it became dedicated to just that function. Other languages don't even use a tittle. In Irish, the I was traditionally undotted because it could be confused with a dot called a builte, which was used above other consonants. In some Diné languages in North America, they don't use a tittle because it's easily confused with the acute accent or the grave accent that's used to mark tone. And in Turkish, the dotted I and the undotted I are two totally different letters. And finally, the phrase to a T might have originally been to a tittle, referring to the dot over the I. If you thought this was cool and want to learn more about how language works, subscribe to my Patreon.